Hello and welcome to Just Hoops. Carmelo Anthony has been one of the most impactful players of a generation. Over the last 20 years, his scoring has taken over the league and definitely has had a huge impact on players today. 10-time All-Star, 6-time All-NBA, part of the 75th anniversary team, just a genuine player that has changed the game. In terms of the numbers, though, it goes without saying he was elite. 40.65% from the mid-range, six years of his career, he was over the 80th percentile in terms of mid-range shooting, and five years, he was over the 80th percentile for long mid, and then 46.75% of his shots came from the mid-range, eight years over the 80th percentile, and 14 years over the 80th percentile for long mid. Carmelo Anthony is an incredible scorer, especially in the mid-range and at the mid-post, so let's dive into the film and see what Carmelo Anthony did throughout his career that made him so special from this area of the floor. So to start, let's talk about the micro skills that allowed him to be so successful in this area of the floor. First, his patience. Seeing this clip here, he catches it. He's turning, scanning the floor with his eyes. He's really making it hard for the defense to know what he's going to do, and it gives him the ability to rise up. Same here, the patience he has. He's strong with the ball. He's turning, he's scanning the floor. He's great with his feet in terms of his footwork to always maintain a, a pivot foot and be strong on that pivot foot and not allow the defense to push him off. Just this level of patience and also being strong with the ball. Having the ball protect it and in a spot it's hard for the defense to get a hand on it is definitely a huge thing that allowed him to be successful for so long. And then in this clip here, the use of fakes. This is just a simple pass fake and he does a ton of things with jabs, pump fakes, eye fakes, all of the above to really get the defense off. His footwork was so elite though, the way he was able to jab, maintain a pivot, use either pivot. And lastly, his strength and physicality. He's able to back anyone down virtually, and it's always a threat for him to get to the hoop. So now let's dive into the move that killed defenses for years. Time and time and time again. This jab pull-up always started with a great protection and great face-up. The ball's protected. He's in a spot where the defense can't get an easy hand on it. And he's also in a spot where he can drive. He can put it on the ground and make multiple plays with it. But when it comes to the move itself, look at how he's low in a spot where he can do multiple things with the ball. He keeps the ball active at his hips. He jabs with the ball itself to move the defense. His jab is at the defender's hip to force them to open up, force reaction. And last point, he does a great job at getting that jab back under him quick to rise up with great balance and elevation before the defense can even react to get a hand up on the shot. Next, let's talk about his turnaround jumper that was huge for him in his mid post game. It all starts and finishes with his elite footwork. Watch here against Philly. He gets that first foot out to the spot where he wants to take off from. The back foot follows for balance and he rises up. Here against the Lakers, you can see the way that that lead foot gets him away from the defense. The back foot follows, allowing him to rise up and knock it down over the double team. Here against Indy, we're going to see how that second foot comes in, allowing him to elevate and turn in the air. All of these clips, you can see that he's not fully facing the basket. He's only halfway turned, and the way that he elevates allows him to fully turn to the hoop and knock down these shots at a more efficient clip. They're very tough shots to have, but the way that he was able to get that lead foot down first in space, the second foot followed, and he was able to get momentum up into his shot. And the last move we're going to talk about is the flyby. It's a pump fake gather into your jumper. Here, this first clip against Chicago was great. Watch as he catches, reverse pivots to the hoop, takes that one dribble, pump fake, gets the pump fake nice and high, he stays low, gathers his feet in, and knocks it down. Here against the Lakers, we're going to get old school Dwayne Wade-esque and one, but watch as he pump fakes, he stays low and in a spot, he gathers his feet, and he's in a spot to finish the play. At the end of the day, Carmel Anthony had such a deep bag from the mid post, from quick stop dribbles to shoulder fakes to eye fakes to pump fakes. Across the board, the ways he was able to get to his shot were incredible. This last clip he uses a Dirk fade, but there are so many things that he did on a nightly basis that were just incredible to watch. Carmelo Anthony was one of the best mid-post scorers of a generation and genuinely made it a high-profile thing for 
perimeter players to have in their arsenal. The way he gets his feet down and the patience he had with the ball were the two main things that allowed him to be successful regardless of the move. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, learned something about Carmelo Anthony and his success throughout his career. For more content like this, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll catch you in the next one.